In this episode, we break down the top 10 dues for one percenters old lady. You've heard my perspective. Now it's time to get the ladies' perspective. Blue, tell them. <laughs> Greetings, ghosts and ghostettes. My name is Blue, the outlaw feminist, and you're tuning in to Demon's Row, the holy grail of motorcycle culture. We're going to break it down on this episode of Demon's Row TV. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby. Shout out to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle and motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening. And today we're going to break down this top 10 list of dues for 1% of old ladies going out to these bike events, bike nights, going to another outlaws clubhouse. And I got blue with me, the outlaw feminist who has actually lived the life of a one percenters old lady. So she's gonna give you her perspective of what it's like to be an old lady of a member of an outlaw motorcycle club. Let's break down this top 10 list. So I was watching videos on Demon's Row last week, trying to figure out how all this works. And I came across Sos the Ghost's top 10 don'ts for one percenter old ladies. Pretty good stuff. So I thought I'd flip the script on his top 10 don'ts and drop a top 10 do's for one percenter old ladies. Some of you may not know this, but I used to be an old lady for a real quick minute. And these are some of the things that I figured out that made me respected and made me a real good old lady. I was such a good old lady, in fact, that the former Reno P, Perkle One Percenter, once told my ex old man, she's a real good late old lady, bro, but if you mess up, she's gonna rip your face off. He warned him. Here we go. Top 10 One Percenter Old Lady Do's List. Let's do it. Number one, think of your old man's motorcycle club as a second wife. He has a commitment, a contractual obligation, and a blood oath. This isn't a hobby. He has made a commitment to do this, just like he's made a commitment to be with you. I like the way she broke that down. It's sort of like a contract. As far as the blood oath, I personally never pledged in that manner, but every club is different. So who knows what they're doing on the West or the Midwest or whatever. Every club is different, so you never know. Number two, hold down the fort when he's out one percentering. He only has seven to nine slots in his short-term memory and anxiety at what he's dealing with at home cannot be something that he's dealing with when he's out there. It's dangerous and he must have all of his pistons firing at one time. So hold down the fort, make sure that he knows he's coming home to a stable environment and you can take care of it while he's gone. So I agree with this so much, even with the short term memory, gotta agree with her on that. But how many of you know a brother that has an old lady that does so much to have him off key that he can't focus on what he got to do as a club because his mind is not there. So it's so important to be a good old lady is to have your man's headspace correct. And th this is for any relationship too, not just MCs. Number three, allow him to care for and store his own patch. It is his responsibility and he's the only one that's accountable for that patch. His patch is like a wedding ring. It means the exact same to him. He cannot be without it, and therefore he has to know where it is and he has to make sure that it's okay at all times. You don't want to be responsible for it. So if you're joining the Outlaw Motorcycle Club, you cannot let your old lady touch your cut. She is not supposed to handle it. When you're out somewhere and brothers are there, you hand it to your brother. Number four, make sure his riding gear and clothes are ready to go and always clean. You don't want him looking for his boots or trying to put on dirty pants and showing up to a run or a party or even if he has an emergency, he needs to look like he has 
his stuff together and he's not coming from a chaotic home. You want everybody to think that you have your end drilled down and if he goes out and about dirty, it doesn't look that way and it's a poor reflection on you. And I know feminists would hate to hear this. Like this is something that they just can't understand why somebody would think like this. But what's so wrong with holding your man down? What's so wrong making sure that his stuff is good and he eats something? That's how we rock in this culture. Number five, ensure your old man is home anytime one of his brothers is in your home. This is one of the very few situations that you have a voice. Put your foot down, do not allow it. Even if one person or everybody says it's okay this one time, it's not. So this is gold right here and you can tell this experience. You don't ever want to put yourself in a position where you're alone with a brother's old lady because that situation has so many ways that it can end wrong. And this is just common sense, you know what I mean? Out of respect, like if you go to your brother's house unannounced or whatever, you should be making a phone call anyway. If you go into anybody's house, I don't care how cool you are with them. Drop that phone call, listen, I'm on my way. Don't just pull up. But if you pull up to your brother's crib and his old lady is just there alone, do not go in that crib. It's not gonna end well for you if anything gets found out. Number six, allow your old man to kick it with his motorcycle club and his brothers without you and without a fuss. If he's needy and wants you around cause you're super hot, tell him to go and have fun without you. He needs to be away from you and doing his own thing and bonding with his brothers without his old, having to worry about what his old lady's doing. It also reflects very positively on you because it shows a sign of maturity in the club's eyes. Hit that subscribe button if you're getting value out of this. Hit that like button. I agree with this 1000%. I used to get on brothers. Let me know in the comments if you have brothers like this. You're going to an event. When you're, when you're in the MC, you're bonding with your brothers. You're going somewhere to bond with your brothers. You got certain people. I know it's fun to have your girl there or whatever. I get it. That's part of the life. But sometimes you have to leave her at home so you could do your own thing. I've been in situations where we've sat at the table and understood that when we go to this bike night, there's a possibility that something's gonna go down with a certain other diamond club that we're having issues with at the time. And I've had to argue with brothers leave your old lady home why are you bringing her if you know there's a possibility we're gonna bump heads with this so-and-so club why do it and, and people do it all the time they want their girl to tag along everywhere they go like grab your fucking nuts and go chill with your brother sometimes so i like what she said right here number seven save home drama for home club business is club business and doesn't involve you home business is your business with him and it doesn't involve his club they run side by side but never the twain should meet if you got going at home leave that there and that's once again if you're having issues if there's tension leave her home do your thing with your brother number eight get the riding gear and dress appropriately make sure you protect your hair and your skin the wind will destroy your hair and road grime will make a mess of your skin get leathers buy cold weather gear and get sunscreen Wear sunscreen on sunny rides and make him wear it too, even if he doesn't want to, because he's gonna go home with you with the sunburn. If you're an old lady and you're new to the culture, there's something you need to know, like let's say it's springtime or summer, but it's nice, it's not hot. If you go somewhere during the day and it's nice and it's comfortable, it's gonna be way colder if you're coming back at night. So make sure even if you're warm, you're prepared with that extra gear. A lot of new people that are new to riding, don't understand how cold it gets on that bike, even if it's not a freezing cold day. Number nine, always wear your property patch when you're out with your old man and he's in his patch, unless you're instructed otherwise. This staves off unnecessary and embarrassing interactions. From his point of view, you respect him, you respect his club, and you're proud to be with him and you're proud of his situation with the club. From the club's point of view, you look like you're falling into line and you won't be a problem, and that's a big deal. Also, the other members know not to talk to you in a over-sexualized way because they don't do that to their brothers only. If you're an old lady, if you're on club time, you wear your vest everywhere you go. Doesn't matter 
don't pull up with regular stuff on and then another club another diamond club may come up to you and try to kick it to you in front of your man it's going to be a lot of issues you have that cut for a reason it is the wedding ring of mc culture that's my little coin phrase right there so wear your ring number 10 appreciate and enjoy the time you have in the one percenter orbit it's a unique experience and it's an honor and a privilege this is the stuff that memories are made of that was super fun what do you guys think please do me a favor and like and subscribe to my insanity and until the next time be safe and baby be dangerous so let me know in the comments what you think about that top 10 list what do you think about blue the outlaw feminist follow her channel if you want to support the role get your gold savelli mask now they're on www.demonsroad.com i got another episode where i talk about the top 10 things a one percenters old lady should never do it'll be linked above and thank you for tuning in to demons road tv the holy grail of mc culture like subscribe and comment and no yeah we ghosting baby